Hey everybody, look at my cool new mask, the canvassing queen. I am here, I'm gonna take this down. I am here with my wonderful tenant, Summer Wilson. Hi. And her salon therapist, <laughs> Amanda. Amanda. Amanda always does great blow dry. Amanda, don't even look at my hair, okay? She always does my blow dries. Well, and listen, we're, we're, we're hairdressers. Exactly. I, I put my sunglasses on that's so it hides it. Hello. Exactly. <laughs> same idea. So that's the trick. Everybody just wear sunglasses, wear a bandana, or. There we go. Look, is this not a phenomenal salon? Phenomenal. So, what are we doing today? Are we cleaning? Today, we came and we cleaned off all the stations. Uh huh. We are making sure the only thing on the stations are hand sanitizer, um, disinfectant. Just everything so the client knows they feel safe when they come in that we, that we. We did your thing. Doing our thing. We're spraying down everything. We actually have this, this over here. Oh yeah. What's that? This, we're. What is that? It's, it's, it's like. It's like. to go and spray the ah, whole. Did OSHA make you do that? No. Or are you just doing it? No. You're just doing yeah, it. Just, Amanda left us. Well. She's I, like I, over I, it. She's like, forget it. I'm going like, to go clean. out of here. So, I mean, our industry, this is, I mean, we get inspected once a year for, san you know, being sanitary. So, this is, it's like a nature to us. Yeah. You know, so that's why it's so hard for us to understand why we're, like, last on the list to open, you know. But, and being patient, actually, all the girls were just here. We just had a meeting and, and code enforcement just came in. Oh. Uh, and she's like, you guys what are you doing? Do and I'm like, we're not, we're having a meeting on how to clean better I don't know so uh, yeah so we're hoping we're gonna open soon right? right but can I ask you a few questions yes okay awesome so how did you get your name salon mix actually, by the way you're in Davie yeah well actually when I bought the salon it was it was there it was there so you're like I, I'll keep but it but it kind of went because when I took over I I had this vision in my head, but then of course we did inspections, all that, and it didn't work out into the fun. So I'm like, I wanted something different. Sorry, I'm looking. I her. wanted something different that you can't get in this area. You know, you have to go to Winwood or whatever. And Salon Mix kind of went with, if you look around. Yeah, I mean, look at, look at guys. It's look at this, look at this guy. <laughs> He's ready for Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> So it's mixed up and you know we're a mix of you know all, all my girls you know they all have their own different personalities um we're artists we mix color we there mix we go. it up we so mix. you've been here how long in this space no you moved in the me sense in this i did i moved you <laughs> so actually november this year will be nine years for me that's awesome you don't look like you're old enough to be earning a business for yes, nine years you know, yes yeah. That was the Botox before all this happened. It's wearing off, so. And you're in Davie. Mm -hmm. And you're in Davie. And I think, what's your ranking on, is it Yelp or? We are on Yelp and we, I think, have 369 five-star reviews. Not like you're counting. Like, and I think you're number one, right? Five-star, yeah. yeah. Awesome. In Broward County. Best of. Well, I like to the least. most in Broward County. We're not the best. Listen, every salon is amazing, you know. We're just extra amazing. We just, you know what it is? I always tell people when you come here, I don't want you to feel like you're going to get your hair done. I want you to feel like you're going to your friend's house and hang, hang out. out. Yeah. You know, so I always say it's like a barbershop for chicks. Oh, you know? very so, cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, when you were younger growing up, did you know you wanted to do this? Hair? Yeah. Hair? Yeah. You well, did. Owning a salon? <laughs> no. Not so much. No. I used to roll my grandma's curlers when I was probably like seven. Yeah. And so. what, and did you, like, were you an entrepreneur? Did you do like lemonade stands or Girl Scout cookies? Like, were you in sales? Like, what, what'd you do when you were like eight? Nothing. Barbie dolls? You, like, you no. Know, or no, army, really... army men? Like, what, what, what were you into? Eight, nine, ten? And I was into digging in the dirt and getting worms and throwing them on girls. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was a total tomboy. <laughs> Me too. But you know what's so funny is, like, I'm a tomboy from here down, but don't look at the makeup. So I'm, I'm, I'm you don't do that, like, on the yeah. makeup. The yeah. hair never does yeah. not, you know, we got the sunglasses. Yeah. But. Well, yeah, I've seen you in at least 10 different color hairs well, and I'm bald. Like, yeah. Bald. Like a chameleon, I get yes. I, one year ago, actually, yesterday. I you shaved, shaved it all head. off. Yeah. I remember that. I came in to get the rent and I'm like, oh, what happened? Are you sick? 
No, I just shaved it off. I was bored. That was what I wrote on Facebook. A lot of people think just because a woman shaves their head, they're sick. Why can't we just right. shave her head? So, um, what else can I tell you? What's one lesson you've learned from COVID? Not that I don't want to talk, make these interviews about anything about COVID, so we're tired about talking about COVID, but I just say, what's um, one lesson? Well, not to take things for granted, that at any given moment, anything <laughs> can be taken from you. And you know what? In the beginning, I was enjoying it. I was loving going out. This is the old Davy I remember, like no traffic, you know. Um, my mom, I mean my mom, my daughter being home all the time now in homeschool, our relationship has gotten better. I've learned how to do dishes. Yeah, I've learned to cook. I learned to cook. <laughs> um, you know what? I, I learned a lot. I'm taking a lot. I learned, I applied for that PPP, so I had to learn how to scam things and take an <laughs> external hard to, like, yeah. Did jo I, Josie, I learned a lot. Josie helped a little bit, Yeah, right? she right. did. She did. But, Josie! You know, I, I mean, I, I learned a lot. I learned to stay strong and... You, know you what? learned that you're stronger than you thought. Yeah, and you've called me a couple times. How you doing? You know, you know, I'm a mess, but you know what? It's hey, you know what? You're still here. We're you here. know, unfortunately, That's what I, was say. I just left my other center where the signs being taken down of someone. Yeah. So I don't want to start crying. I so know. Um, I know her very well. Yeah. Um, we won't we won't cry because yeah. uh, this is positive. Uh, so I have a question for you. So a lot of my audience are leasing people, right? They like fill vacancies in shopping centers. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to ask you if you know what the word canvassing means. I mean, I hear you say it all the time. You know, and it's on my mask. Yeah, I hear you say it all the time. Do you know what it is? Well, I mean, a canvas goes over my back patio. Like. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill you in, okay? So what canvassing is, is I, and Kara and leasing agents, we go out to other shopping centers and we knock on doors and we like walk in and say, hi, we have shopping centers and we've got a vacancy. It's perfect. It was a former uh, salon, hair salon. Would you be interested in opening Expanding. another location or relocating? So my question is, if a leasing agent, of course, you'd never leave me, but let's say you no. wanted to open five more. I'm going to listen. I'm attached to your flag. You're not, you're not getting rid of me yet. Okay. So let's say you, you, know, you won the lottery tomorrow and you had this great idea that you wanted to open five more salons, barbers or whatever. If someone walked into your salon and was a leasing agent and it wasn't like Saturday, like peak time, let's say it was Tuesday morning, 9.15 and you're not with a client, right. how would you feel about a leasing agent coming in to share with them the opportunity of another property? I mean, I, I, I would. You mean expanding? Yeah, or, I mean, but like, would you feel it was an interruption? Like, oh my gosh, here comes another salesperson. I, I don't. I mean, we do get like that because. But what about real like, estate people? Like, um, it's not a cable person. I think person. I would only be interested in that if I was at that point in my career where I was ready to expand. Then I would probably do the reaching out, you know. But for like somebody to come in, it would put like pressure on me, and like I, I don't know, I. Because like leasing agents, what they say to me, like I teach this around the country and I say, you got to go canvassing. You've got to be the canvassing queen. And like, no, we don't want to go into business owners because they're busy and they get mad when we walk in. And, uh, you know, this is now our ninth episode of Small Business Saturday series. And I'm going to cl clip all of these because everybody else has said, yeah, you know, we, we wouldn't mind if, you know, if it's real estate. Now, if it's cable, we don't right. want cable salespeople or back in the olden days yellow pages well, we get everything we get color we get you know so right we get so many people walking in um like i said i think it wouldn't bother me if they were coming in at a time respectfully right not well, in your well, peak time i'm just saying at a time in my career right gotcha. like if i was at the point where like i was thinking because trust me i've thought about what? we have a vacancy next, next door, door. <laughs> well maybe mm. if i just knock a hole and do a barber shop on the other side that I've thought about it, but you know. Oh, we have to talk about that when we hang up from this no. video. <laughs> okay, so um, last question. Mm -hmm. uh, we hear we can open, you get open. Besides the number one priority about getting open, the first thing you're going to run to, the first business, you can't say your own. A massage. That, 
Exactly. Right? That's it. Right? You know I said, I'm like, you I know, said like, nails, hair, yeah, and massage. I could care less about my nails, <laughs> a massage. A nice two hour right. tech tissue. I don't even care. Have you tried our massage people here? They're which, very good. Which ones? The ones? Yes. Well, I got my facial there. Our neighbors. Yeah. Your neighbors. Yes. Yeah, yes. they're pretty good. Yes. I had a massage facial, there. Facial, yeah. I got there. Okay, great. Good. Well, Summer Wilson. Thank you for being um, uh, one of, on our episode nine of Small Business Saturday, even though today's Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Taco Tuesday and Cinco de Mayo. Right. And Frankenstein's ready. And we're ready. We, and we're yeah. ready for a margarita. I would hug you, but I can't. It's okay. So thank you. I'll and hug you when all this is over. I exactly. Swear. And when I you swear. guys need, if you're in Davie, come to Salon Mix, which is right across from Nova in the shopping center called Shops of Rolling Hills. It's right next to Vicki Bakery.